as innovative as they are, EVs have always been let down by their batteries, limited range, mediocre longevity, and costly repair prices all represent one of the biggest reasons why EVs haven't caught on as much as was initially expected. But rest assured, CATL has managed to create a battery that will finally completely eradicate these issues and allow EVs to reign supreme over internal combustion vehicles in terms of practicality, longevity, and reliability. You see, despite the industry's best efforts, lithium-ion batteries have always had their well-known issues, which was always very depressing for EV enthusiasts because lithium-ion batteries represent the pinnacle of battery design. Despite everything, lithium-ion batteries have a relatively mediocre energy density, which means they are very mid-range. Sure, advancements have been made. However, even today, Many manufacturers struggle to make a reliable and dependable battery with a long lifespan that can cross 400 miles on a single charge. Speaking of the reliability of these batteries, it is also very mediocre, as batteries can last some 200,000 miles in ideal conditions. And since ideal conditions don't exist in the real world, this maximum lifespan is cut severely short by cold weather, high battery usage, quick acceleration, and high amounts of energy draining. Finally, Recharging the batteries is by far the biggest problem EVs face because regular lithium-ion batteries take around 30 minutes to charge from 10 to 80 percent. Not ideal, since gasoline-powered cars take like a minute to go from empty to full, and if that wasn't enough, charging these batteries using a fast charger would also severely shorten their lifespan. Now, CATL has recognized the ever-rising popularity of EVs, and they've also listened to what the market has been complaining about for the past 10 years. As a result, they started developing a completely new variation of a lithium-based battery that promises to completely turn the market upside down. CATL recognized that the root of the issues of lithium-ion batteries was the electrolyte used. Regular lithium-ion batteries use either gel or, more often, liquid electrolytes, which don't have good energy density. Going for a solid electrolyte would have helped a lot. However, Solid-state batteries are generally known for having large reliability issues because of the higher levels of stress they go through while charging and discharging, which creates dendrites around the solid metallic electrolyte. As a result, CATL decided that their best course of action would be to combine the two. How, might you ask? Well, simply, they've decided to condense the liquid electrolyte to the point it becomes virtually solid. This is called a biomimetic condensed-state electrolyte. Enter their all-new 500W per kg battery, which they announced last year. This battery has a noticeably greater energy density than regular lithium-ion batteries. Comparing them to an average battery, you can see that CATL's new battery has almost double the density, as usually lithium-ion batteries have only 250 to 300 watts per kilogram. This means that CATL's battery, which is the same size and weight as a battery in, say, a Tesla Model 3, will be able to do twice as many miles on a single charge. But the benefits do not end there either. A higher energy density brings faster recharge times. This is because fewer cells are required for the same capacity, allowing them to recharge much faster. Practically speaking, this technology has the charging times and also yields a greater potential for shortening these times even more. However, what we adore the most is how incredibly reliable they are, because they require fewer cells. These batteries also have a much longer lifespan, which is practically double what it used to be. This is amplified by the fact that a biomimetic condensed electrolyte also provides much better energy stability and enhances performance by mimicking natural processes to stabilize the electrolyte count, with cutting-edge cathode and anode materials, as well as even better thermal management. You get a battery that CATL guarantees will do over 1, 2 million miles. Now, in a world where lithium is becoming more and more vilified for the negative impact it has on the environment, it's great to see that a battery design like this one can practically lower the need for lithium-ion batteries by six times. Furthermore, these batteries are far less complex to produce, meaning that they will be far easier to make and roll out, which would therefore mean increased production capacities. Not to mention, you also get a much cheaper battery once this technology gets scaled, which will decrease the price of EVs, making them more attainable essentially eliminating the biggest gatekeeper of the EV market. Oh, and did we mention that these batteries will also be extremely safe too? Sure, they won't be as hazard-proof as solid-state batteries. However, creating an accidental fire will be practically impossible with these batteries, which isn't true for regular batteries. In addition to being very interesting for the automotive industry, 
These batteries also represent a massive leap forward for other industry branches. For starters, phones will now be faster to recharge and will have much better battery life and life expectancy. This means that those of us who tend to keep one phone for extended periods will now have a nearly limitless amount of battery life, so this won't be a forcing or limiting factor for us. In addition, because of the increased potency of these batteries, we'll also see the development of an all-new. That said, for all the good CATL's new battery does, there is also a fair bit of skepticism surrounding it. The first one is practical, and that is the price. Sure. When scaled, these batteries will cost less than regular lithium-ion batteries, but the production needs to be scaled up for the benefits to be seen, and that takes time. In addition, this is also a fairly unproven design, and despite claims that it is as reliable as it gets, the 1. 2 million M lifespan has only been shown under ideal factory conditions. Who knows how problematic these batteries might be in the real world and how much their actual life expectancy might shorten. In addition to that, despite there being a smaller window for a health hazard with this kind of battery, if it ever happens, the accident will be far more dangerous and lethal than regular batteries. This is because the energy density is much higher, leading to a possibility of higher temperature and greater thermal runaway. In addition to that, this is still a liquid-based battery, meaning that it also suffers from the same fire hazards as regular lithium-ion batteries do, albeit the possibility of it happening is thinner than with their current competition. Speaking of competition, this battery has some direct competition in terms of innovation. You see, Toyota has recently started developing a solid-state battery, which, if developed correctly, will practically make the condensed battery obsolete as soon as it hits the market. This is because, if made reliable, solid-state batteries will harness all the benefits that condensed batteries have while also removing any possible hazards that come with them. In addition to the solid-state battery, lithium-based batteries as a whole share a common enemy, which is ecology, as they are highly polluting. As a result, we've seen the development of battery types such as sodium batteries, which are cheaper to manufacture, practically achieve zero pollution, and can be made in abundance as sodium reserves are practically endless and can be found everywhere. Sure, they are far less potent than lithium-based batteries. However, they are also getting more and more advanced by the day. But despite all of these issues, we do believe that there is a bright future awaiting this battery, and that its fortunes will commence very shortly. There simply are way too many benefits for this battery type to be ignored. Apart from being good for the imminent future of battery technology, this new condensed battery is also very important for the further development of batteries because it is very similar to solid-state batteries and incorporates technology that would be used in solid-state batteries. In addition, this also allows for the development of other non-lithium batteries, such as sodium-ion batteries, 